Thank you very much for joining me with this particular tape. What we're going to be working on now today is very simply some very, very good simple stretching exercises to isolate each muscle group. The hamstring group, the adductor group, the top of the quadricep, and the iliopsoas muscle group. Then we're going to strengthen the certain muscle groups that help us lift that leg up in the air to do our particular kicking exercises because it's just as important to have the strength as it is to have the flexibility. Think about this. When we do flexibility, do we really stretch the muscle or do we kind of teach it to relax? I am more on the inclination that we teach that muscle to relax. I've been doing this for 30 years. Most of you have been stretching a certain part of your life. How can we have to warm up before we stretch out? How can we just go into the splits? I can't. I don't know too many people that can just drop into the splits, especially at my age. I have to stretch. I have to warm up a little bit. Then I can go down. I think I actually teach that muscle to relax enough that I can do the splits. That's what I want to work with you this afternoon. Today is to teach that muscle to relax. Isolating each of the certain muscle groups, the three muscle groups we've just talked about, into relaxing to the certain degree that we can maybe not do the splits, but get more flexibility, get a greater range of motion. If you have any questions, just think about it. If it starts to hurt, stop. Don't push it any further than that. Just let it go to a certain degree. Let it relax in that position, okay? Think about it as we're working it now. We're isolating the three basic muscle groups, the hamstring group or the biceps femoris, the back of the leg, the inside of the leg, the adductor longus, the sartorius and the gracilis, commonly called your adductor group, and the front part of the leg, the iliopsoas that comes around and curves around the front of the leg, and the top head of the quadricep. We're isolating those three muscle groups. We're not going to push it hard. We're not going to use a ballistic type of an exercise. We're going to use a very simple static. We're going to hold it after a certain position for a certain length of time. I'll count the time. It's up to you how long you want to do it. I pick my own certain amount that helps me. Okay? Now let's just kind of circle the hips a little bit. Just relax a little bit. Circle those hips. Good. Nice and easy. Nothing hard. Nothing, nothing really, really, really big. We're loosening up the hip joint. This helps us also speed up the heart rate. Get a little blood flow within that muscle. Get warm blood within that muscle group so they'll become more elastic, more movable. Now, turn sideways. Arch your back now. Push your hip forward so you're stretching heel. The iliosolus, the top head of the quadricep. Good. Arch your back. Push it forward. Good. Now circle again and reverse it. Reverse it again and reverse it one more time. Nice and relaxed. Arch your back one more time. Good. Now, we're also, in the course of our flexibility, going to work a little bit of ligaments, a little bit of tendons up in the hip joint. But remember, we're going to go nice and easy today. Let's just sit down. In this position now, put your legs about a 90 degree angle. No more than 90 degrees, because remember, this is a warm-up also. I haven't jumped up and down. I haven't done all kinds of exercises yet to warm up. This is going to also be my warm-up. I'm going to put a little bit of tension on the muscles, which causes what? The heart rate to speed up, pumping new, fresh, reoxygenated blood into those muscles. My right leg stays where it is. It doesn't move at all. My left leg will be the only leg that does move, but I'm not going to move it. I lean back so I take all the strain off my lower back. Now if you have a back problem, this is going to be wonderful for you. All I'm going to do now is watch. Just scoot a little bit forward. When I push that leg out, the legs separate. I'm working the adductor group. I'm isolating the adductor group and isolating that particular muscle group. So come back to a 90 degree angle. Now pick an arbitrary time. I'm going to pick let's say 15 seconds. I'm going to hold each of these for 15 seconds. I'm going to do three sets of five. I'm leaning back. Toes are straight up. Why? Because we're isolating the adder group. I've leaned them back. Now I'm working the hamstring group. So I want to keep them straight up. Lean back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, only take the front leg, your left leg, out maybe an inch or two inches. Now, if you're right-legged or left-legged, I happen to be left-legged, so that's the leg I'm going to move. My right leg stays where it is, or it could be your left leg. It's up to you. I'm going to push this out about two inches. Now watch. Boom. That's all. That's all it is. But look at the difference in the angle now. Another 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes are still up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. That's two down. Third one. Now watch. Just a couple inches. But I just push that just two or three inches. Again, look at the angle change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't count fast. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Keep your legs locked out straight, too. Keep them straight. Make this vastus medialis muscle right here in, in the front part of the leg and on the inside help out the medial area. Helps out the support. Fourth one now, a little bit further. Good. Now look at the difference. Look at that angle now. This is only the fourth one. We've got two more sets to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now, if you notice, a lot of times when you take it out, you go, oh gosh, that hurts. But the longer you stay in this position, the muscles will relax. Why? Because they get tired. When a muscle gets tired, it has to relax. It has to. It can't stay tense. It doesn't have the strength anymore to stay tense. Fifth one now. Ready? A little bit further. Good. You notice only a couple inches each time. It's a slow process, but it works. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Now, don't pull your legs together. What are we trying to do? We're trying to stretch this muscle group. We're trying to get it to relax. So what happens if I pull my legs together? What happens? I just used that muscle to contract the, muscle, the legs, and now they've tightened up again. So stick them back out there slowly when this position, and now watch. Watch what happens. If I scoot back, I've just scooted forward. If I scoot back, that angle reverses to a certain comfortable position. Bring your legs together. Bring your feet together. Bounce those knees. Relax the hip joint. Just to relax the hip joint. You don't have to do it hard, but just to relax it. Now here's something very important. A lot of times when you push your legs out, you won't feel it so much in the adductor group, you feel it in your hips. You go, ow, that really hurts. Well, this is your femur. Fits in your acetabulum, acetabulum like this. When I'm stretching, if I'm trying to come up like this, there's a lot of strain on the top, the top head or the top area of this joint. So what happens, you want this to happen, this sliding, this slipping within the, within the acetabulum itself. So what we're going to do now is work the ligaments that hold this joint together and the tendons, which hold the muscle to the bone. Easy way to do that is very simply, I'm going to get on my hands and knees. Look at the difference, the angle of my knees. Okay, very simple. Now, to take the strain again off the back, I'll go about 45 degrees so everybody can see. About here, now I just put my elbows on the floor. This is very simple, nice and relaxing too. Now, just sitting here, I let the legs relax. Let them relax. Let the knees come apart a little bit. Then I come forward, stretching that iliosos, the top end of the quadricep a little bit. Good. Then I push back. Now I'm working the hamstrings a little bit, just a little bit. You notice I'm not working the adductor that much now. Now the knees will go a little bit further apart. Coming forward again. Good. And pushing back. Now, look at the movement. See, I'm bouncing a little bit on this one because I, what am I not doing? I'm not working the muscles. I'm working the ligaments within that joint. Why? Because my knees are bent. So the muscles cannot be straightened out or cannot be locked out or cannot be tense. They're relaxed. 
So I'm working the ligaments. Now, coming forward again, and going back. Good. A little bit wider now. Look at the difference now. Look at the difference. Coming forward again, going back. See, I can boot now a little bit further. Now, look. See the difference? Legs are almost down now. Come forward. Now, don't push it. We're going to do this again. Coming forward and pushing back. Okay, now come up. Good. Now, the second set. You'll notice a vast difference. Okay, now my legs are apart. A little bit wider this time. They don't have to be 90 degrees. But my toes are still up. My legs are locked out straight. Now look at the difference that I'm starting with already. Because now the ligaments are relaxed a little bit. You don't really want to stretch the ligaments hard because ligaments don't grow back. So you get them to relax a little bit because there's still a certain amount of movement that you can work within those ligaments. Hands behind you. Second set of 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Second one, just a little bit further. Just again, a couple inches. Don't push it. How hard am I working? One, and I am an old person. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good. Second one now, or third one, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Fourth one now, a little bit further. Good. One, two, you should feel it now, start feeling it. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Last one, this set. A little bit further now, a little bit further. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep your back straight. Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, hold it now, hold it, and 15. Now, again, just scoot back. Take the strain off that hip joint. Good. Bring your feet together. Bounce those knees. Good. Relax the hips. Relax the muscles in this position. They're still thinking, though. They're still thinking. They're still relaxing. Okay. Ligaments again. Ready? You're on your knees again. Now watch the difference on you. You'll be relaxing. You're getting the muscles to relax. Your elbows are down. Come forward again. Good. Push it now. Push it a little bit. Go back. Good. Knees a little bit wider. Come forward. And back. Good. Now the instep is down on this. So you're not putting any strain on the knee at all. Knees a little bit wider. Come forward. And go back. Good. One more time now. A little bit wider now. Come forward. See, we're working movement too. Working movement. Going back. Now, nice and a little wide. Hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Come up slowly. Slowly. Let the muscle relax easily and slowly. Good. Now, remember, we're still isolating just the adductor muscle group. Third set. Fairly wide now. Fairly wide. Because we want the muscle to relax in this position. To relax in this position, be comfortable in this position. 
So when you stick your kicks up or you swing your leg up or do any kind of, of, of flexibility movement, you will feel comfortable working that movement. Hands behind you again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Second one, a little bit wider, now, just an inch or so. You might not want to push it so hard this time because you're trying to work just that extra added inch. Second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Third one now, a little bit wider, a little bit wider. Nice and relaxed though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Good. Fourth one now, a little bit further. A little bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Last one. Push it now. Push it. Put a little bit of strain on that thing. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes are still up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hold it. Hold it now. Hold it. Make it get tired. Make it get tired. Don't push it, but just hold it there. And fifteen. Good. Scoot back. Slowly. Let the muscles relax slowly. Good. Good. Now bring your feet together again. Bounce the knees. Very good so far. When you get up, when we stand up, you'll feel it. Okay, now stand up. Kind of shake your legs out a little bit because you've taken a little, blood, little bit of the blood out of the muscles. You put a little bit of strain on those muscles, they're fatigued a little bit. Kind of circle the hips now. Kind of circle the hips. Just get them to relax. Now the hamstrings. Isolating the biceps from Morris. Very simply, to do it, you bend over in the front. I don't like to sit down to do it for one very simple reason. You put a lot of strain on your lower back on the lumbar area. Watch. Your legs are double shoulder or about shoulder width apart right now. Okay? Make two fists. Just put the knuckles flat on the floor in front of you. Toes are slightly inward. Why? The toes are slightly inward for one very good reason. To take a lot of the strain off the medial collateral ligament, the inside ligaments on both knees. So the fists are on the floor. Now hold this one for the count of ten. One. You notice I'm looking at the floor. The reason I'm looking at the floor, now watch my lower back. See the difference? As opposed to this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now walk your knuckles back to the instep, to the arch of your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now walk them back to the heel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now just put the back of your hands on the floor in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now walk your feet about double shoulder width apart. Nice and easy. We're not pushing it now. Now grab your ankles. Again, we're getting this muscle back here, the biceps remorse or the hamstring, to relax. Not to stretch it real hard, but to get it to relax. Hold on to your ankles. Hold it for the count of ten now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now walk your feet 
just one apart. Second one now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Third one now, just a little bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now keep your eyes on the floor because this keeps your back straight. One more. Look how close my head is getting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now look at the floor. Draw an imaginary line now between the ball of your right foot and the ball of your left foot. Straight line. I want you to put your forehead right on that line and hold it for the count of ten. With me. Ready? And down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come up slowly, stand up, move your head around, get the blood out of your head, and relax for a second. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the adductor group. Remember we did three sets of five? Now we're only going to do one set of five. But rather than holding it for 15 seconds, we're going to hold it for each 30 seconds. To make that muscle get tired, to make that muscle relax. Okay, sit down with me again. Nice and relaxed. Fairly wide because we're only going to do five. You also get to practice your counting. You know what is very good? To do these particular exercises in front of the television at home. If you're in school, do your homework. If you just got off work, Turn the news on or turn your favorite program on. Because when you're watching your favorite program or when you're watching something else, it distracts from your knowing exactly what's going on. So you're not thinking that it hurts. You're not thinking of, well, oh, this sure takes a long time. But you're thinking of, hey, wow, that's a good movie. Or I didn't know that happened today. And all of a sudden, your muscles relax because you're not thinking about it. I play the entire game of Trivial Pursuit in a split position. I can't walk afterwards because my legs are numb, but they learn to relax in that position. Okay, hands behind you. 30 of them now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You notice I'm leaning back. I'm taking all the strain off my lower back. A lot of the strain is off my hips, too, because I'm leaning back relaxed. I'm isolating the adductor muscle right in here. Second one, a little bit further, just an inch or so. Again, we're just trying to get this to relax. We're not really stretching it. We're getting it to relax. And it works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good. Third one now, a little bit wider. Good. Getting easy, isn't it? Because the muscles are getting tired and they can't fight you anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
28, 29, 30. Now you can lean back further if you want, just to take the strain off of, relax the hips. I'm more comfortable here though. Fourth one now, a little bit wider. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toes are still up. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Good. Last one now. Impress me. A little bit wider. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Get those toes up. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Scoot back. Good. Ah, oh. oh, yes. Bring your feet together. Relax afterwards. Now you have to relax. Otherwise, the muscles tense up. Then they're hard to work with again. Good. Okay, now, back to the hamstrings. Pushing it a little bit further each time now, right? We're just pushing it ever so slightly, a little bit further each time. Legs are double shoulder width apart. Now we're going to go down the middle for the count of five, to the left for the count of five, to the right for the count of five, and then back to the middle for the count of five. We'll do three sets of those. Okay, with me now. You notice my legs aren't really that wide because I'm isolating the hamstring group, the back of the leg. Okay, from here, legs again, feet slightly inward. Down the middle, hold it for the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. To the left, one, two, three, four, five. To the right, one, two, three, four, five. Down the middle. One, two, three, four, five. That's one set. Second set. One, two, three, four, five. To the right. One, two, three, four, five. Down the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Third set now to the left. One, two, three, four, five. To the right. One, two, three, four, five. Down the middle, last time. Again, draw that imaginary line now. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax. Come up. Circle your head. Relax a little bit. Now, see, you notice we don't have to take a break because we're relaxing the muscles as we're working different muscle groups. Sit down again. Very simple one this time. We're going to only do three, only one set of three, but we're going to hold each of them for one minute. Because I am a kicker, I use only my forward leg. The most important flexibility for me to achieve is the adductor flexibility. So that's why I work it so hard. And if you are a kicker, you need that flexibility. Be able not to swing that leg up, but to be able to pick that leg up and not have any resistance. So you have the speed, you have the movement, you have the power. Legs are apart. Remember, only three this time. So they're fairly wide. Hold them for one minute. Leaning back, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. A little bit wider. One, back straight, toes are straight up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, back straight, twenty-five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Feel it, aren't you? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now hold it. 1, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Last one. Good. Push it now. You want to feel it. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. Scoot back slowly. Uh, whew, and slowly. Good. Now you're going through this with me, hopefully. So you're going through the same agony. Just kidding. It shouldn't be bothering you. What you should do is, is feel a tenseness. Feel a tenseness within that muscle. Feel those muscles tighten up but you could also should feel them relax. You should also feel the movement the where you're not really dying in the hips, but just that what I like to call uncomfortable. Feet together. Good. Balance the knees. And now what we're going to do with this particular part of it is we're going to work, put those two muscle groups together into three simple movements. Okay? Working the hamstring group at first, then working the adductor group. Very simply, working the hamstring, then sliding apart for the adductor, and working our chest to the floor for the hamstring again. With me. From here, your legs are about double shoulder width apart. Okay, grab your ankle, hold it for the count of 10 this time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, put your hands on the floor. Point your toes upward and slide your legs out. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now put your elbows on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back up. Very good so far. Now scoot back. Bring your feet together. Remember, everything's relaxing after you tense those muscles. Okay, stand up. Second one. Feet about double shoulder width apart. Toes slightly inward. Working the hamstring and groin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at my eyes. I'm looking right at the floor. Okay? Hands are on the floor. Toes are up. Sliding your legs apart. Good. Second one now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Elbows on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now put your chest down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Up. Very good so far. You're impressing me. Scoot back. One more. Now the last one, as you've noticed, keep progressing just a little bit. Feet together, bounce the knees. Good. Come up. The last one is a bummer. It's going to get you. Legs are about double shoulder width apart. Draw that little imaginary line on the floor. Your forehead goes on that line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands are on the floor. Slide your legs after about this far. No further than here now. Now turn your feet over. Now just sit straight down. Back straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now toes are up. Chest on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, agility as well as flexibility is very important. All I want you to think about doing now is rolling those hips over. Now watch. One, two, three, and back. One, two, and three, and back. One, two, and three, and back. Scoot back, slowly, again, very slowly. Bring your feet together, bounce those hips, bounce those knees, relax, relax. Stand up, circle the hips a little bit. Now, you're saying, okay, Wallace has worked the hamstrings, Wallace has worked the adductor muscle. What about the iliopsoas, the top head of the quadricep? Right now. Very simple way of doing it. Now watch. I am fairly flexible, so I'll show you my way of doing it. Then I want you to do it a different way that I will show you. Hopefully, you can do it the way I do it. But if you can't, I'll show you a sneaky way of doing it. My legs are fairly wide apart, okay? Now, what happens in this position, I'm going to keep this angle the old way, the whole time. Going forward, coming back. I'm going to work my stomach and my chest to the floor in front of me, right here. And still keep this angle. Then I'm going to pull myself forward into the splits. You watch the angle. 
stay there for a second or three or four. Then I'll pull myself further forward, where now I'm isolating the iliopsoas, the top head of the quadricep. The whole time I'm there, I want my stomach and chest to be against the floor. Watch. Down here, my back is straight, stomach and chest is against the floor. And then I pull myself forward to this position. Notice I'm in the splits. Stay here for three or four seconds. Now watch. Now I pull forward. Now I'm working the iliopsoas, the top head of the quadricep. Hold this for a couple seconds. Then come back into the splits. Hold this for a couple seconds. Come back to this way for a couple seconds. And then I come up. It's also a great way of cleaning the floor. Scoot back and down. Now you want to do that with me one more time? No, let's do it the way I want you to think about it. Legs are apart. Let's say you can't do the splits, but it doesn't matter. Even if you can't do this or you can do the splits, this way works just as well. Legs are apart. Elbows on the floor. Hold it for the count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now, sit up. Make two fists. Place them as close to your legs as you can, to the crotch area. Now lean forward, pick yourself up. See where I am? Then I walk forward to this position to where my feet are flat. Feet are flat. Then lower myself down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I come up just a little bit. Then I walk forward. Put my stomach and chest against the floor in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come back to this position. Lower myself down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come up. Sit back. Put the elbows against the floor in front of me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A little bit further now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Chest down now. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Up. Slowly. Scoot back. Bring your feet together. Relax. What I would like for you to think about is just what we've done. We've isolated the hamstring group. We've isolated the adductor group. And then with this exercise right here, we isolate the iliopsoas, the top head of the quadricep. You notice we didn't push it hard. We only bounced on the ligaments within the hip. But then we didn't bounce drastically. Just kind of moved a little bit to get those muscles, those ligaments to relax. It's not going to take a long time. You should feel movement every day. You should stretch every day, just not hard every day. Let's take a normal seven-day work week. Monday, you've just come off a great weekend. Push it real hard. Really go at it. Tuesday and Wednesday, stretch easy. Thursday, oh, you've had those two days to rest. Push it hard again. Friday and Saturday, stretch nice and easy again. Sunday, if you don't have a tournament or if you don't have something that you have to do, just relax. Then you start in again Monday. Really, only push it hard maybe twice a week maximum. It's like bodybuilding. You have to let those muscles relax. You have to let those muscles heal themselves because you have to push them a little bit if you're going to gain that flexibility. Now we're going to strengthen those legs. But see, we're not going to really strengthen the leg. The leg is basically, the quadricep, this large muscle right here, is designed primarily for straightening the leg out. It doesn't lift the leg. 
The muscles that lift the leg are the external and the internal obliques, the rectus femoris that comes up around here, your gluteus maximus and the minimus, and your fascia muscles here on the side of your hips, right around here. That's what we're going to strengthen. Now, basically you're watching this tape at home, right? So you're not going to have your wife do it or your girlfriend hold you up or something like this. So all you need is a chair, a nice simple little chair. This is what I'm going to use. This is going to be my partner. I don't want you to have to think or worry at all about balance. What I want you to think about now is strength. Okay? There's no movement, just a lot of agonizing muscle work. Okay? But there's no way of getting around it. Now, if you're brand new and you're having trouble getting your leg up, take your shoes off. Because every little ounce helps, believe me. If you are done this for a while, if you are fairly strong, that you think you're fairly strong, go ahead and leave your shoes on because now it gives a little more resistance, a little more strength involved. Maybe not go as high, but you'll still have that resistance, you'll still be building that strength. We've already worked the flexibility, right? Now watch. Three commands. Knee up, out, and the one that you won't hear very often is back. We're going to hold each of these for very simply 10 seconds, but we're only going to do three of them because we have some more stuff to go with it. Okay, now watch. From here, knees up. Don't worry about where your leg goes, where your back goes. Keep the knee up. Point your toes. Okay, out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back. Keep the knee up. The knee stays very high. Always keep it between you and the bad guy. Out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back. Relax that leg. Keep the bottom leg relaxed, but keep that knee up. One more now. Out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Back, and finally down. Now, what you'll do, we don't want to take the time to run through all kinds of different sets. I usually do that for three sets. Really isolate the obliques. You'll find out you have muscles where you didn't know you had places. Second exercise. Now, that was a very simple roundhouse kick, but held up there. This time, we're going to do very simply three combinations. The first combination is a high roundhouse kick. Five slowly, five quickly. Second combination, low roundhouse kick, high roundhouse kick. Five slowly, five quickly. Third combination, hook kick, roundhouse kick. Five slowly, five quickly. Okay? Doesn't have to be real fast. Doesn't have to be real high. Remember, we're building strength. Hold on to your partner. Remember, try to get that knee as high as you can because when you're sparring, if you get the knee real high between you and your opponent, it makes him have to defend more. It makes it very difficult for him to block it. it makes it very difficult for him to push you away or defend against it because there's so much in front of him. Plus, it protects you. Keeps you from getting hit. Knees up, high roundhouse kick. One, two, three, four, five. Faster now, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, by the way, you never put your foot down. Low roundhouse kick, high roundhouse kick. Low, high. Low, high. Low, high. Low, one more, and high. Fast. One, two, three, four, five. See where the foot is now? See where the knee is. Hook, round. Hook, round, hook, round, 
hook, round, one more, hook, round, faster, one, two, three, four, five, knees up, and then down, Ugh. feels very good when you put it down, doesn't it, circle the hips, hold on to your partner, circle the hips, Ooh, when you get to be old, it gets you. Guess what? Guess what? Now, we put all three of them together. Low roundhouse kick, high roundhouse kick, middle roundhouse kick, hook kick, roundhouse kick. Very simple. Just like you'd be sparring. Watch, hold on to the chair, low, high, middle, hook, round, low, high, middle, hook, round, that's two, low, high, middle, hook, round, three, low, high, middle, hook, round, four, low, high, middle, hook, round, pretty good, huh, faster now, low, high, middle, hook, round, 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 and low, high, middle, hook, round, knees up, and down. Hey, I'm a little bit tired. How about yourself? You're really building up those muscles, plus you're building up the cardiovascular endurance, the heart rate, the lungs. One more exercise we're going to do now. But this works strengthening exercises, but also movement. And if you do it right, a little bit of speed. Now, let's say you've done karate for a while, or you've done some kind of a martial arts, or you've done taekwondo or kung fu or something to where you know what the kicks look like. What I would want you to do now, what I do want you to do now, is on the first command, knee up. Okay? Now you're going to throw any combination you want to throw. Any combination. As many different combinations as you want to do in 30 seconds. So you're going to throw double round, hook round, blah, 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 all kinds of weird combinations. Combinations you might never throw in competition or in a self defense situation. But remember, what we're doing is we're building agility within the movement, that movement, and strength. And when you put all those together, what do we have? Speed. If he can't see it, he can't block it. If it's too quick for him, you're creating openings. Okay? Here's my partner again. First command is knee up. Now, don't go real fast right off the bat. Just build up that rhythm. From the rhythm comes the agility, from the agility comes the speed and the movement. Okay? Knees up, and go. Boom, 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 bam, 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 bam. See the movement now. Build up that rhythm. The hook kick is coming just as fast as the side kick, as the hook kick, as the roundhouse kick. Just keep that movement, just keep that movement. Keep it going, keep it going. And down. Very good. Now, again, when you're building up that movement, think, maybe doing sets of those. Three sets of three. Three sets of, of four. Get that movement. Get that agility. Build that strength. That leg is my third hand. Once you've done the flexibility and you feel nice and relaxed, nice and agile within that flexibility, then you've done the strengthening exercises. You've gotten that leg way up there even though it didn't stay there very long, but it got up there once or twice. 
And then you did the movement, the agility within that movement. And then you build up that, that speed within that movement. The next very important exercise is you walk around to the front of your partner. You sit down on him. Put your leg up on the chair. Turn the TV on. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Relax and tell me how the movie ends. Thank you.